Hi friends. Now looking at the question I'm having here with me, I'm asked to prove that B. Okay, okay. Before I'm going to reprove, I let me just see if I can confuse with that, you guys. Let's say if you have something like this, what's this? This is the first time I've seen this kind of sign. What is this actually? And let's say if you are giving this kind of sign, what is this? Okay, and this at the same time, let's say you are giving this. Then what is this? These three signs are they are they the same? No, they are not the same because they are their own uh, specific aspects through which they operate on. They operate on what on different aspects. She get on. For example, if you are looking at this, can I call this one a subset? Note if I should call this one a subset, I'm wrong. I'm actually wrong. But Am I going to call this one a subset? Wow, but it's it looks quite like a subset. Actually, it's wrong. I cannot call it subset. This is my subset. This is called subset. This is called subset. Okay, then what is this? This should be our our proper set. This is proper set, proper subset actually. But I do call this proper set. <coughs> Just to short it, you understand? And um, you see, this is called as super, super subset. This is our super subset, and this is our proper subset. Why this one is what? The subset. Now, in this case, prove that B proper subset A. If and only if. That is a powerful word in, 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 in mathematics. If and only if. A intersection B equals B. Then how am I going to prove this? Actually, I can I can prove this using the Morgan's law, but actually, I can I can I can actually prove it using number. But the most simplest way is for me to prove it using what using um the set of real numbers so that I won't get confused actually. So if you look at this area, I can just say okay, um I'm asked to find um <coughs> B is a proper subset of A. So looking at this, what is the first step? What what can what, what is the first step I'm going to take? It's very simple. Then I need to take what to take a step. So I can just go ahead and say let my a look at this. Let my a equals to set of all real points. Let's say we have was let's get on two, four. Okay, can I call this is even number? Yeah, even number six. Yeah, eight and ten. That means my a is what set of what of even number. And my b is what let's say we have um our b to be four. And also what ten. And according to the definition of proper subset, uh, if I talk about proper subset, proper subset is what is a set in which at least one element can be what can be found in the other set. She get on. That is in which at least one element. She, how, how can I put this down? Let's say I, I, I let me just put it like this. Um, if okay, let's you know as you're looking at this, can I sit down? as you're looking at this. Uh, this is my set A, set of even number, and my B is 4, 10. Then, since I can find 4, 4, 10 inside what? Inside this. She get down. I can find it inside my A. That means my B is a proper subset of what? Of A. That's proof. Because if you look at this, since 4 is here, 10 is here, 4 is here, 10 is here. So, that means my B is a, what? Is a proper subset of what? Of A. So, in this case, it is proved according to the definition of proper subset. That means... B is what is a proper subset of what of A, which is what proved. Then are we going to stop it? Proved. No, we are not stopping there because this is not what we are asked to do. We are just asked to show that. Show that this is if this is this. And if and only if A intersection P equals to B. Check so it down. We should prove if and only if A intersection P equals to what equals to B. Then what do you mean by intersect? Intersect is that what are the elements that are present in A and also in B. The similar elements that are present was in A and also in B. Now look at this. Looking for A intersection B now. What is going to be my A intersection B? A intersection B is what is the element that I find what in B, and also that, that I can find in B. Both of them, they are present in both of them, and the element that are present in both of them is what is four, comma ten. Because you look at this, this is my four and this is ten. This four and ten. She get on. Then if you look at this, since since a intersection b equals what 4 comma 10 and and 
B equals what? 4, 10. This implies that, she get now, this implies that what? A intersection B equals what? Equals to B, which is what? Proved. Very simple. This implies that A intersection B equals what? Equals to B. That's proved. Because since my this and this is equals to this, then that means, and if you can recall, your B is what? 4, 10, which is this. Then A intersection B equals to what? B. That's proved. Very simple, but it is logic. Because of that if and only if. That's why most people are just like, if and only if, I don't hear that kind of word again and run away. But we still have a long way to go. She get now. So right now, kindly click on the subscription button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right now for more of this. We still have a lot of things to solve and a lot of things to show you guys. You have trigonometry um, to offer you. You have calculus. Don't worry. As far as I'm concerned, as far as this channel is concerned, I'm going to break it down for you. In such a way that you, we all want to understand it. Now, kindly click on the subscription button right now and hit the notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop a video. And if you want me to explain something for you, or maybe let's say you want me to solve a question for you, and you want me to solve any question for you, just drop it in the comments box. I'll be there for the question. Thanks for watching.